Hello, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com, and this is the second video tutorial for adding actions, the add action command in uh, Arma 3 editing. So, I'm, this one I'm going to go really quickly over all these different parameters that are useful in the add action, just a real quick once over. So, to do that, let's create an add action as we go along. So, I'm going to use this as a template. So, I'm going to copy that in my mission folder for this tutorial I'm going to create a new uh, script so new text document I'm going to call it uh, uh, display distance SQF and let's open that up in notepad plus plus what we're going to do is create an add action on a desk you can walk up to the desk and then use the add action it's going to tell you how far away the members of your group are so i'm going to start off uh, if you know in scripting uh, putting two backslashes like that it'll allow you to write a comment right another way of doing it is to go backslash and then asterisk and then it'll just start a comment and it can go multiple lines until you go asterisk backslash again so in here I can type anything so I'm just going to do that in the top of my script here paste in that template okay um, basically I'm going to put an add action on the desk I know it, I named this object desk in the editor okay I could since I'm going to put it on the init I could just say this and then put this uh, add action in the init of any object and then it would work. <clears throat> okay, so add action title is a string. Uh, Whatever we want to show up in the add action, we walk up to that object. So display distance is the one I'm going to use. Um, here, I'm not going to use the code parameter. We'll get back to that later. I'm just going to use the script option and the script. We've named our script that we want to be executed as display distance dot SQF. So I need a comma there and I can comment out the rest of that just to get rid of it or just delete it. Okay, now arguments. I really don't want to pass any arguments to the script, but if I did want to, I could do it from this point, uh, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to put in nil for to pass nothing. Uh, priority is the a higher number means that it will be higher up on the top of the list. I think default priority is 1.5. Um, a default sort of high priority is 6. So let's make this uh, minus 10. Okay, it can be a negative number because I want this add action to show up on the bottom of the list. Okay, now show window. Basically, it means that when you walk up to, in this case, the desk, do you want the text to be displayed in the middle of the screen that there is an add action there? In the case of this type of thing, yes, you would want that because you want a visual indication that there's a new add action available to you when you walk up to that object. You don't want a player to have to find it by scrolling uh, on a wheel mouse or mouse wheel. So I'm going to say true. So it's a Boolean value, true. I want it to show. Do I want, once I use this ad action, do I want it to disappear from the list? And that's, I do not want that. So false. Uh, a shortcut is basically, um, I could bind this add action to a particular key so that when it's available I could hit a key like my move forward key or something like that. Um, I really don't want one so I am just going to make this an empty string. Okay, a condition. Is there a particular condition? And I'll cover that later but no I don't really have a particular condition I need to satisfy. I'll cover that later. So I'm just going to make that a string. Now how far away or how close do I need to be to the object? 
in order for the ad action to display. I believe the default is 15, so 15 meters away you could get it. So I want to be up much closer, so I don't want to be any further away than let's say 3 meters. So it's a number and it's a 3. Do I want the ad action to display if the player is unconscious? Okay, in this case, why not make it true? You know, it's just about displaying the distance anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm not going to test it. I can also make it false. Okay, so that's a nice way of using a template like this to, to put together our parameters. Now, I don't, I'm not going to paste multiple lines into the init of my um, object in the editor. So what I'm going to do now is just start deleting and bring this all onto one line. So that is the add action that I am going to paste into my editor. So in the editor, there's my desk. Oh, it looks like I got another version there already. So I'm going to replace it with that. Okay, so that should work. Now we got to write the script. So my script is actually going to start here. So we know uh, that we're going, the add action will pass back some variables. It's going to pass back the unit that the add action was on, the caller, so the player who initiated the add action off of their scroll wheel menu, and then the ID, so where, what was the ID of the add action, so in case you wanted to remove it or change its text, you would know its ID. So, anywho. <clears throat> So let's start off with uh, unit that the add action was on is equal to this select zero. So this is an array, and uh, I think I covered that in the other one. Um, then caller is equal to this select one, and ID is equal to this select two. Now, as we, if you've, I'm assuming that you have watched the scripting basic series, so you understand that what I want to do is make sure I'm not uh, creating any problems without initializing things properly. So I'm just going to do this real quick and uh, caller ID. And I could add to this as I create the variables for the script. So the idea of the script was you walk up to the desk, then you, it's going to tell you who's in your, how far each uh, other unit that's in your group is away from you. So first of all, I need to figure out who are the other, or what are the other units in that caller's group. So. group. Okay, so again, I'm going to add this to this. And let's get the actual value is, uh, so I'm going to refer to, first of all, the group of the caller, right, and I want to return the units that make up that group. Okay, pardon me. Now, when I do that, I'm a member of that group, so I want to make sure that I'm removing the caller. So, I know in this case, I'm going to do it very quickly. Um, I'm going to, I know that because I am going to be playing as the leader of this group, I'm going to be the first element in the array of units that are in the group. So I'm just going to remove the first element. Don't worry about it. So I'm just going to say group caller delete at 
zero. So the first element in the array is zero. I'm just going to remove that first element just to make it nice and simple. Uh, next, uh, we are going to need to do uh, uh, for each loop. So for each units that are now in the group caller, I want to execute some code. So the code's going to be between those curly brackets for each group caller. So here's the code that we want to run for each of those. So every time it goes through, it's going to, X is going to stand in for the first unit that is in that group now. And what do I want to do? I want to create another variable to store my message. Okay, and message is equal to oh, as an empty string. Okay, now message equals format, and now let's put it together. Um, <clears throat> so percent one is going to stand in for the unit itself is percent two is going to stand in for the distance meters away from you because the caller is the player and this is only going to be shown to that player locally so okay now let's pass the variables that are going to replace the one percent and the two percent uh, that is x is the unit in the group uh, that we're measuring and the distance is x distance caller. Okay, now we just need to display it. So, caller uh, side chat message. I could have done side chat format, put it all in one line, but it hardly matters. Okay, that should do it. Let's give it a go. Okay, so the units in my group are the survivor and this competitor. Let's get them moving away. Two, move back. Solid copy. Three, move back. Waiting. Roger. Okay, so they moved a little ways away. Let's go over the add action, and I see it, display distance. I used it, and it didn't go away. And the return I got was uh, competitor is 26 meters away from you, and friend is 36 meters away from you. Okay, so if I were to tell them to go far away, move 100 meters right. Copy that. And there they go. All right, let's see what I'm getting. Excellent. Okay, so let's see how could I do this. You can see that the add action is going to display, but only I have to be four meters away. So by default, you can. There's a lot of control you have here. Ready. Uh, really quickly. Um, I'm just going to alt tab out. I'm going to grab this. And let's use the debug menu. And I'm going to do it on myself. So there. I'm going to add the action right to my person. In this case, let's see. I want to change. I want to put in a condition. So condition is. Let's say I want the add action to only show for just me, right? So the condition might be, and it's useful to go to here, use this, uh, these resources to check everything when you're doing any kind of scripting. Uh, the condition here, special variables that are passed to the condition are target, is the unit to which the add action is attached to, and this is the caller executing the unit. So I only want the, the add action to display for my 
myself. I don't want another player to be able to walk up and use the add action on my unit, right? I only want to show for me. So target, underscore target, must be equal to underscore this. That means that the only reason the condition is is that it's, I have to be uh, the player. I can't use the add action off of another player is the effect of it. So let's add that in there. That's the third last one. So in the third last one, one, two, three, that's our condition. So target is equal to this, right? And then it should only show for me. Okay, um, and let's show it in case I'm uncomfortable. So true. So I have an add action now, and it'll work just on me. Uh, if could demonstrate by throwing this on a dedicated server, having someone else join uh, and then walk up to them and put this on them and I wouldn't be able to see it. Um, I think this mission will just end if I make myself unconscious so I won't be able to show you that it will show. Anyway, that's Uncle from Tactical Gamer. That's the quick once over uh, on ad actions and I will catch you on the next one.